All right, this is a long overdue video about the new Cardo Connect app. Basically, it came out and replaced the SmartSet app. So if you have a newer Cardo headset, say the last three years or newer, uh, you just want to erase SmartSet. It's old, it's done, it pertains to like the G series and the Q series, uh, it's gone. Cardo Connect. So when you open up this app, it's gonna tell you Cardo Connect is looking for the unit to connect. Your headset must be already paired with the phone for it to work. You'll see that little yellow indicator on the uh, on the LED when it does activate. And this is the new home screen. So this is a full-fledged remote control of your headset. Really, when you're using this app, you don't need to touch the headset at all. Phone, intercom, music, FM radio, you can do it all from here. I'll show you in a second. And then top left, that's the settings. We'll dive into that. Top right, that's going to be the battery status or the battery of your headset itself. So starting with intercom, this one... This My phone right now is paired to a PackTalk. PackTalk's got Bluetooth intercom, and it's also got DMC, which is mesh intercom. Up here on the top, you've got DMC Bluetooth. That tells me it's in DMC mesh intercom mode. Uh, if I want to go to Bluetooth mode, say I was riding with someone with the, that just had a uh, Bluetooth-only headset, I switch it like that. Bluetooth intercom mode. Now the PackTalk is acting like a Bluetooth headset. If you have a free comm, or a Bluetooth only headset, of course, you're only gonna have this option. You won't see DMC, but on here, we've got our A channel, our B channel. A is already paired with something. Actually, it's paired with this 20S. B is free. If I wanted to go to pair, it's gonna ask me, is it a cardio unit? Is it a non-cardio unit? And I would choose what I want. It's a very efficient way to go into pairing mode without having to touch the unit. By the way, A, I can tap this, pair a different rider, or rename. I can actually rename this as 20s hit done now just a little bit more clarification for me to know what i'm paired with and then up in the top right i can reset all channels which would erase both of those now i've got a pack talk really i don't want to be in bluetooth mode unless i absolutely have to so i'm going back to dmc much better than bluetooth DMC intercom mode. so when you're in dmc of course, remember we're in the intercom tab of the home screen here, right? So intercom says group three. If I go back, these are the two groups that my pack talk is part of. Group three, group one. Both, it looks like, are three members. However many members are in that group will be in that little circle number over there. And this little green indicator here tells you what group is active right now in the headset. So group three, oh, and then down here, create a new group or join a group. Group three it says that the members are Bonzo and Ding Dong, which I happen to have with me. If I turn those on, you'll see that the Cardo Connect app automatically recognizes that they're around. Ding Dong just kind of came to life and Bozo uh, still grayed out. Oh, there it is. So this tells me, yeah, okay, these guys are around. We're ready to go. We've got group comms between all of us. Uh, by the nature of DMC. This little lock symbol up here indicates who my private chat member is. Uh, look up that video if you're not sure what that feature is. It's awesome. Um, and this little pencil is where I can change the name of this. Let's call it test. Done. So when I go back here, it just personalizes the group for me. I know that test is this group. Group one could be a different you know, group from somewhere else. One last thing about this, since I'm the creator of this group, I could add more riders. Pair more riders, pair a passenger. That would put my headset in the mode, again, without having to do the buttons. I can do it through the buttons here. You can just do it through the app as well. So that's the intercom segment. Let's go to phone. Phone, this is where you can set your speed dial, your favorites, your hot dials. Uh, if I go to set, it, it accesses my, my phone uh, my contact list, I just select them, boom, it loads them in there very quick. Ian is my person. Voice, if I tap that, is Siri on the iPhone and redial, self-explanatory. Music and FM. So music, if I hit play, that's remote control of the headset. It's gonna start the music. Always make sure your phone is all the way up. It is.
So as you can see, I can remotely control the headset from the mobile app itself. My music, skipping tracks, sharing music. If I was if I was paired with somebody else to share music, this would be an option up here. This would, if I tap that, it'll share the music. Uh, say I want to let's get the music going again. Whoa. Say I want to skip a song. And if my phone is bar mounted, I don't have to touch this thing anymore. Um, pretty cool. Let me go back. FM radio. Again, self-explanatory. It says 92.3. Here are my six presets. Uh, if I wanted to share the FM, I could tap that button up there. Let's try the FM. 92.3. Okay, got some music going on there. Scan to the next station. 93.5. So it's going to try to find the next station that's decently clear. Say I wanted to save this. I just hold my second preset. Boom, 93.9 is now saved. 94.7. You get the point. Now, say this third preset. Say I wanted to just type in what I needed it to be. Press and hold it. There's a little pencil next to there as well, and now I can tune whatever specific frequency I know I want to have. I don't know what that is, but I'm just going to do it. Boom. When I hit save up on the top right, that's now the third preset. So, say I was to do the uh, FM radio manually. Two clicks of the front button. 94.7 Okay, radio's on. If I were to scan to the next, or go to this preset, then I can just tap this once to go to the next one. And you can see how it's represented uh, on the app. So the app gives you a, a very clear visual representation of what's going on. I don't know what this is. Edit presets, reset all presets. Okay, cool. Now, quick access. This, this panel looks to be designed for this. I think this is the one you would actually have up when you've got it bar mounted. Because on top, you've got your phone options, voice. If I tap that, it's going to pull up Siri. Redial, self-explanatory. And then Ian up here on the top right is the one from the phone uh, section that I had designated as my speed dial person. For audio, I've got music. This little music symbol is music from my phone, all right, or from your bike. The FM... This is the FM tuner that's in here. Of course, if I hit play, it's going to launch that and it's going to start it right away as, as an example there. Oh, that's off. Stop. Okay. In, and then the third category, intercom. If I hit mute, that's self-explanatory. Bridge, that's to bridge in a Bluetooth headset, in this case the 20S, into the DMC conversation. One of the most capable, this is an awesome feature. Look up that video if you uh, haven't seen it. And then this bottom left one is that familiar lock from the DMC intercom screen that we saw. And it says Bozo beneath it. It's grayed out because I turned the Bozo, Bozo headset off. But if I turn it back on, this would illuminate again. And when I select that, boom, that's a one-on-one -on -one conversation between me and Bozo. That's private chat. Works fantastic. Check out that video as well. That's an overview of the... Um, voice, or sorry, the remote controllability of it. Now, up here is where we go into some of the settings on the headset itself. Of course, you can connect it to the Cardo community, but less and less are you needing to do that. The only thing you need to do from Cardo community anymore is the software updates, which hopefully one day you can do from the app itself. This up here, uh, unit name, it says Pack Talk Bold. When those other units said Bozo and Ding Dong, that's where you change the name. So if I were to change this to... Um, Moto Geek, that's how I would show up in their groups on their app. Reset to factory, I don't want to do that. Audio settings. This is cool. This is the individual volume of all the different um, operations of the headset. System announcements, how loud are those? Music, I can turn that up just a little bit. FM radio, maybe I'll turn that up a little bit as well. Background music, this is how far is the music in the background while somebody else is speaking. If I send it way down here, it's going to be real low when someone talks. If I have it here, 86%, it's not going to be that far in the background of somebody else talking. System announcements, on or off. Automatic volume, also seen as AGC. Uh, this is where you change. See, all the cardios, that, as your ambient noise changes, 
the volume will get louder for you or go down for you depending on if you're on the highway, if you're sitting still. This is where you change how sensitive that is. If I, it's on medium by default, but if I make it highly sensitive, it'll take less ambient noise for it to start self-adjusting the volume without me touching anything. Or I can turn that feature all the way off. I recommend trying it though. I use medium, the default works really well. Voice, contr uh, voice control sensitivity, voice control on. If you have a Pack Talk Bold or Slim, definitely leave that on because it's got natural voice. Uh, or their Freecom 4 Plus, which I've yet to play with, but this is the sensitivity of that as well. So we go to day and night view. Uh, there's night only. If you want it, I have it on auto switch. And then one last thing that I really like is this help section. Um, list of voice commands. So if your headset's got natural voice, which is by far the best voice command that I've seen out there, this tells you all the different commands you can uh, tell it. There's about 20 of them. And then the quick guide, which is the pocket guide that came with it originally, it's now loaded in the app itself. So if you're out there and you forget what the heck you're trying to do, this is an easy way to go, okay, how do I do volume up? Oh yeah, you roll that. The app, I would imagine, will load the guide of the headset that it's paired with. Uh, I believe that's it. If you have any questions, write them below. Thanks.